Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math all of the problems. So we have by triangle uh, in which the length of its one side is 11 and the other sides are length and height. So here in this problem we need to find the area of this right triangle as well as that we find uh, the length of this x and y. The length of the sides of the triangle AC and BC. So here you remember one thing is that our x and y should must be in positive integer because uh, this is a uh, uh, triangle and x y is the length of its sides so it cannot be negative so that we have solved this problem for the positive integer values okay so now here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we uh, very well know about the uh, right triangle so uh, we know that uh, the Pythagoras theorem is a hold so we know about the Pythagoras theorem. It is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular. This is called the Pythagoras theorem, and we know uh, in the uh, right triangle, the side opposite to the 90 angle is called the hypotenuse, and if this is any other angle, so the side which join these two angles is called its base and this side is called the perpendicular side or altitude side of the given right triangle so now here we need to substitute the values of h b and c uh, in this nice uh, pythagoras theorem so we know that the value of hypotenuse is x so this is h square so it will become x square the value of base is 11 so it will become square and the value of perpendicular is y so it will become y square and now further uh, you see here uh, we move uh, this y square in the left hand side and you obtain x square minus y square equals to this is 11 square and we know that 11 square equals to 101 uh, and after that we apply here this nice square algebraic identity we know that x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y and this is equals to 121 so now if you focus on uh, this right triangle the, uh, then you see here this is the hypotenuse x and this is the perpendicular side we know that in right triangle, the hypotenuse uh, be the longest side of the uh, right triangle. So if we compare this the value of x and y, so of course x is greater than y because x be the hypotenuse and it is the longest side. Okay. So here uh, we write that x is always uh, greater than y. So if x is greater than y, uh, then uh, uh, then if we add uh, x plus y then x plus y is always greater than uh, x minus y okay so it means that x plus y is always greater than x minus y uh, so that uh, if you compare these two values it means that uh, x minus y is less than x plus y okay so now in the left hand side uh, we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side so now we make the uh, make the right hand side into the product of two values or two numbers. So uh, we know that 121 is equal to 11 uh, multiplied by 11 is equal to 121, and the other possibility is 121 is multiplied by so these are the two possibilities in which we get the product of two numbers becomes 121 because here this is this will be positive integer value. Okay. So now uh, here uh, if we uh, uh, see in these factors, we know that x is but in the first place we have both factors are equal and uh, no any no one of these factors are greater than the other so that uh, we reject. Okay, we choose those factors in which x plus y is equal to means that the, if one any one of the factor is greater than the other. You see here 121 is greater than 1, so that will be 
and now we uh, choose the greater value equal to upper value and the less value equal to upper value it means that uh, when we compare the left hand side with this, these two values then uh, uh, we will just choose here x plus y equals to 121 and we take or choose x minus y Okay, so now here uh, we uh, just solve these two linear equations and we easily get the values of x and y. And now we call this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two. So if we add these two equations, then we easily get the value of x. So you see here if we add these two equations, that then this is positive and negative values are cancelled by each other and we add x. 2x equals to 121 and 1 equals to 1. And now you see here this is 2 is multiplied by x. So we need to find the value of x so that uh, we just divide both of the sides by 2. Okay, in order to find the value x, we need to divide uh, by 2 on both of the sides. So you see that these 2 and 2 are cancelled by each other, and here you get 2, 6, 12, and so uh, this implies that the value of x is equal to 2, 6, 1. Okay, so this is the our uh, value of x and this is the value of hypotenuse. And now we move towards to find the value of y so that we need to substitute this value of x into the equation number 2. Uh, so we put uh, this in equation number 2. So when we substitute this value in, in equation number 2, so that our equation number 2 will be as 1 minus y equals to 1 and we move this minus y to the right hand side and 1 in the left hand side it will be written as 1 minus 1 equals to y then 61 minus 1 equals to 60 equals to y so this is the value of y or in other words uh, this is the value of our uh, our perpendicular or i so now here uh, we just write that our both values of x and y are the value of x is 61 and the value of y is 60 and you see here both of these values are positive and negative okay so now we move towards to find the area of the given triangle so that uh, we know about the formula of the area of triangle uh, so we know that area of uh, triangle is equals to 1 over 2 times of base multiplied by height okay base multiplied by height or here our height is our vertex okay so that and now we uh, here we need to substitute the values of base and height so that our base is 7 and our height or perpendicular side is y so this y is equal to 60 and, and now we cancel these terms we know that 2 3 plus 6 and we have 0 so now we multiply 11 by 30 so 11 times of 30 equals to 60 over 30 and the wide area of triangle in square root of 1 this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos